Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Vine Card, shall we? Vine Card's a strategy deck builder with some roguelike elements, and I'm excited to play it for the first time. I will say, I'm going to put links to the game's Steam page in the description below so you can check it out and wishlist the game if it seems interesting to you to support the developers. And I also, uh, the, the devs were generous enough to donate five keys to the channel, and I'm going to raffle away in the first week that this game releases five copies of the game. So stick around for more details about that. All right, everybody, let's go for the very first time right here. So I'm going to just take normal difficulty because... Um, Oh, no, never mind. I need to do the tutorial first, which, hey, I'm all for a tutorial. Let's go. In the void, there is a planet named Kochab. Every 5,000 years, the sky of the planet will be shrouded in a purple glow for a day. Most ordinary people fall asleep on this day. The subsequent miracle of a brand new continent will fall from the sky. Wow. It's called the Cloud Heaven. The biological races, environment, and culture development are all different on each Cloud Heaven. The Eastern Continent is on the homeland of the planet. Most of its residents pursue the ultimate physical cultivation. The Western Continent was the Cloud Heaven that descended 5,000 years ago. Its residents advocate scientific development as a weapon. But the next descending Cloud Heaven is a land of abundance or a place of stillness. We have no way of knowing. Stop it, Storyteller. Hurry up, let's go. Miffy from Kaffing Tower is going to dance again tonight. I heard that the big shot's coming. Oh. There's Miffy dancing. Very good, your daughter, the Emperor, must like it. Pack up and leave quickly. Dad is here to deal with the envoy. Dad promised you. Let you return to the Western Continent as adult and go find your old friend. Thank you, Dad. When I come back, I will definitely show you good filial piety. Go quickly, the sky will change. Damn it, sir, the girl escaped. How dare you set fire to me, says the flower envoy. Hey, I heard that the tower owner... Oh, she broke the glass. So this looks like our first character here. All right, so Miffy Salissa. I must go to save my father and quickly cross the forest path ahead. Click the card next to the protagonist to move. Okay. So, um, there was some, you know, not too subtle storytelling elements there about the West and, you know, our love of bazookas. And then the East and the idea of cultivation. Now, cultivation games are something that have always seemed so interesting to me but um, have like a barrier to entry sometimes. So let's see how this one goes. It, if it's just a deck builder, then I'm into it. Okay. So I can pick this place right here. Oh, and she moves over. Okay. Um, I don't know. Do I want to keep moving her? I guess I want to get up to this path. Okay. New terrain cards have appeared. Rock cannot be passed while Spike Trap changes state every turn. Move skillfully to pass when the spikes are down. Also, you can check on effects anytime by pressing X on the controller. Okay, so there's a little stone guy right there um, that I can't pass through, and that's a Spike Trap. So I'm going to move up, and it's up. So we got to move up again, and it's down. We'll move over and over. We made it. We're almost to the camp. I need to pick up some items to restore energy. I'm also looking for a decent weapon. Okay. So there's a bunch of good stuff. There is a hoo cake. There's a 
shield and an iron sword. All right, let's go. All right, I got some health. So I went from one to three health, as you can see in the upper right corner. You know, something that's interesting is it's like a grid-based roguelike, except it's made with a deck of cards. And you could almost imagine um, playing this as a tabletop game where you deal out the terrain for uh, the character to move across. All right, we got two defense and three attack. We're ready to go. Note. The top right shows hit points, the top left shows armor, the bottom left shows attack, and the bottom right shows weapon durability. Okay, so it's going to last for two turns. Alright, let's go. Huh. Just a boar and a soldier. Defeat them quickly. Move close to the enemy and click the enemy to attack. Enemies have a chance to drop gold, items, or weapons. Okay. Alright, well let's... We can do three damage to this board. It has three health. And so we get to attack first before it could do damage back to us, which is great. This guy is not going to die instantly. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen when our weapon disappears. Can I hit him back? Hopefully I can do one damage to him. I did. When attack is zero, attack any enemy will trigger an HP fight. Oh, okay, converting all your hit points into attack. After defeating the enemy, excess damage will convert back to hit points. Okay, so I got some back. Some cards may also have attack when uh, it's not equipped with weapons. They do not consume durability or trigger HP fight when launching attacks. Please be informed. I will. All right, so we got some sweet buns. Uh-oh, here's a snake. So I'm going to have to use HP attack on this guy. Hopefully my shield will block the damage he does, though. Yeah. So you see, I did six. There was three excess, so I remain, I retained three, but losing three is rough. If I would have had a weapon, I would have taken no damage. Use different weapon effects to de defeat enemies. For example, Tassel Spear can trigger the penetration effect, dealing half damage to enemies behind the target. Oh, okay. This guy's got a big, like, cleaver and a stick, but we just punch him, and we wreck him, and then we kill the boar. Tassel spear. We're coming. Ooh, it's a ranged weapon. After picking up a new weapon, it will be equipped immediately, unless the original weapon has a special effect. Do bear this in mind. Okay, view the card to see the attack range. Morning Dart can be used for ranged attacks. Ranged attacks do not cause the protagonist card to move. Also, rocks block ranged attacks. Okay. So, I'm just going to throw it. That's right, buddy. So, you lose your old weapon and replace it with whatever you step on. Alright, we got some cash. Huh. Even a little girl could cause big chaos under their watch. What a bunch of useless fools, says the soldier leader. Oh no, it's an ambush. Time to show them what I've got. Millie Salissa's special skill has a certain probability of generating a Dragon Palm card. Dragon Palm deals damage to all enemies in the specified direction. Use it wisely to secure victory. Okay, I'm going to get it. And I guess... We want to go out, so let's go this way and kill them. And we don't need to fight, we can just escape. Cough, cough. I have no regrets in this life, says Wang Yan Bao. Dad, I must figure out a way to rescue him. Note, when a hated flame icon appears above an enemy, they will actively attack the player. Hmm. Damn it, you old scoundrel. You were bold to plot against me and ruin my son's plans. I'll kill you, says the flower envoys. Miffy, I hope you can return to your hometown safely. Don't look back. I have to leave you behind. No, father, no. He killed my father. I must find a way to defeat him and escape. The enemy's very strong. Use the bushes to increase crit rate and defeat the enemy. Okay. Um... 
so crit rate 100% left one turn maybe I did this wrong maybe I should have gone up to the guy and then moved back yeah I lost the crit rate so I don't think I can win I think I need to redo it well no I could still beat him I just take a lot of damage a bomb trap has appeared ahead. It will explode after the player acts three times. Move onto the trap before it explodes to disarm it. Wait, the exit's blocked by rocks. Try using the bomb trap to destroy the rocks instead. Surely you've noticed that when the character moves in the direction, the cards behind them would follow. Think about how to clear the level. Okay. So what we want to do is go over here and go one, Two. That worked. Heh, <laughs> young lady, you're too naive to want to escape from me. Route planning is the core gameplay strategy of this game. Picking a low level weapon in advance can avoid high level weapons being covered. Find a way to escape danger. In actual combat, the situation may be slightly complicated. Please explore and comprehend slowly, hero. Indeed. All right, so let's get this low-level weapon. Now, I don't want to just go fighting this guy because he'll wreck me. So instead, let me go back and then... Uh, hmm. If I hit him, I won't be able to even hurt him. But the spear has penetrate to get through the armor. So I gotta drop the sword that I got, unfortunately. And, um... I don't want to go up or to the left, because I'll... Or to the right, because I'll pick up the stick. I don't think you can just delay. Um, so I'm gonna move back down. And then hit this guy. Oh, he killed me. Oh, wait, I don't need to fight that guy. I was thinking, like, for some reason I need to fight him. No, I don't need to do that. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here, here. And I can do... Six damage to this guy. Oh, wait, that's only one damage. Never mind, I lied. Okay, I'm going to go back here. Kill him. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. That was close. I looked at the durability and thought that was damage. That was a mistake. I'd better head to the Traveler's Rest Stop at the border to recuperate and improve my strength. I'd better. Alright. So the Falcon has a dragging technique. Attacking enemies behind will result in a critical strike. Um, how many coins do I have? So, if I, I can gain 10 hit points by getting relaxed, um, but I think I should just start with the weapon. The Traveler's Rest Stop's an interesting place where you can enhance your character's abilities, buy weapons and items, and interact with other mysterious options. Explore at your own pace. Alright, so we did the tutorial. So now, we can go for adventure mode. Alright. So there's different characters. Wow, look at them. Yes. Look at this old sage. Abbot of Baofeng Temple, rumored to have been romantically involved with a consort youth, uh, Yang, in his youth. It's said that he has mastered the Bliss Palm, but has never used it in public. Now that the world is in turmoil and demons are rampant, uh, Zhuan Shen, a martial arts enthusiast, is determined to explore the pinnacle of martial arts to soothe his romantic sorrows. Oh man, that's a tough life. Uh, let's go for it. Oh wait. Oh, I see, you need points to get it. And I, I have none, so all I can use is Missy. That's fine. Eastland. This mode has three main levels, and when the number steps in each level reaches 100, 
A boss battle will be triggered at the bottom of the level. You must defeat the boss to enter the next level. Okay. The small wooden figure on the progress bar above will enter the next mode after every 10 steps of the player's movement. At this point, special cards, traveler's rest stop, treasure, branch dungeon, elite enemy will appear. All right, that's what Divine Spirit says. When you first get started, please check your card effects carefully, calculate carefully, and plan your route. After gradually getting familiar with it, you will definitely experience joy in becoming a great master. I really want to experience joy. Let's do it. All right. So, um, what's this? Baming power. Deal damage to surrounding enemies in eight squares. Wow. Okay, so that's really good. Maybe we're going to save that. So, let's go ahead and go up. And get this spear and then we can wreck that guy and that guy oh my god there was a massive explosion over there there's some fireworks does this spear have range of three it does so I could just hit this guy I threw it at him he died this spear is so good Look at this duck. It's brushing its teeth with a knife. I don't know what to say about that. Man, that bat was tough. What's this? A swamp forged by countless bodies. No, we don't want to go there. Or is that the next level? No, I haven't made enough steps yet. Bush meat. Yeah, give me some bush meat. Money bag. All right, we got some real money. Deal 1 to 10 damage to players or a random enemy. Uh, probably don't want that. There it is. Well, something new appeared. Oh, I hit myself. Well, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but I should have expected it. Um, Dragonfly. Pay 10 coin. When equipped with Dragon Palm, attack plus one. So this is like a permanent bonus. Or I could relax. Let's relax. Uh-oh. Look at this lady. Uh, I don't really want that. Well, I could throw it at these animals, though. Oh, it didn't even die. Dead now. We want that money. Oh, I see. That's what the bat... The bat just can evade very well. Ooh, that's a heck of a weapon. Aw, but I'm going to have to waste it. This breaks a rock. Look at this treasure chest. It's got some food. Oh, I can upgrade a weapon. I don't have one. Does that matter? Yeah, it's wasted. Um, I'll go down this way. I need a weapon. Take that. Well, here's a weapon. It's just a bad one. Oh, I'm penned in, like, on all sides by garbage. Man, that bunny is tough. He's got a cane. This isn't good. I need this spear. Take that. Oh, what's this? After the next three actions, gain one armor each. Okay.
You did. Mm, that food doesn't look good. Wow. Um, here. I have this ability, but I don't know if I can actually use it. I hit everything. Oh, I, it lasts for more than one turn. Boy, I should have picked it up in the first round. Dead. That man is dead. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I go here. Oh, it's like a sub-level. Oh, you jump ahead to another area. Report to my father, Prime Minister Yang. He's been executed by our army. That's less than ideal. That woman seems a bit familiar, like L Ling Long's sister who stayed at Keifeng Tower for a while before. Ah, Lushan, I treat you well. You, someone, come and escort us. Yu Huan, be careful. I feel guilty toward the country and people. I die without regrets. Yang Yuhan is a disaster to the country's beauty. It is difficult to comfort the morale of the military and boost morale without punishment. All right, we got some meanies here. Man, they have a ton of hit points. I'm just going to keep using this special ability thing that I have. Right, that guy's almost dead. Okay, now let's go get this spear. I don't know if I can even... I still can't kill this guy, though, unfortunately. This guy is too tough. I'm going to have to leave them behind, I guess. I'd really love to get that treasure chest. I'm just not strong. I'm sorry. I'm a failure. Oh, God. Boy, that hurts. Riding horses, men, you are majestic and majestic. Brothers, guard one each exit. Don't let the little lamb run away. All right. We got to sneak up and uh, try and kill this guy. We're in the bushes. Am I trying to get this? Is she nice? Or I can't tell if her card back is different. Does that matter? They're fighting each other, which is hilarious. Aw, they took the potion. Well, I guess there's really no reason to fight. Oh. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. Well, we can get that battle axe and some booze. Ooh, treasure chest. All right. So it gives you just one more turn of durability with the weapon, is what that does. That's nice. I'm not upset. Uh-oh, we gotta run. Oh god, we really gotta run. Get in the bushes. 
Man, that's good. Looks like a 99 health is the most you can have. Uh-oh. Buddha Mulan. Or Buddha Moloon. The Kung Fu of the Central Plains people. Too shallow. Too shallow. Too shallow. It is shallower than the Yarlung Zangbo River. That guy is very strong. I don't really know what I... I'm supposed to do against such an impressive foe. Maybe I can use this bow and arrow. What's the range on this thing? Yeah, hit him. How dare fireflies compete with the sun and moon? The difference between us is like the top and corner of Mount Zoom Ulama. One in the sky and one on... I don't know what he was going to say, but I'm just going to keep shooting him. Now I don't have anything I can do about your amazing powers. Oh god. Now I'm in bad shape. It's time to use the ultimate skill. He is no longer affected by the backfire effect or the flame knife. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, I'm cornered in. I'm dead. I'm trying to get away from him, but it's not working. Um, I'm just going to hit him. And then I can hit him. <laughs> this stick is actually hurting me. I needed to, to not have the stick so I could do hit point damage to this guy. You almost let me go astray. We will fight again another day. A wonderful showdown came to an end, and the winner was Miffy Salissa. It feels like it will be coming more and more interesting. Arriving at the dock, you should be able to take a boat to the western continent by walking to the ferry ahead. All right, let's do that. But first, let's get the treasure. God, that thing hurt. It's okay. All right. I don't know. Dragon Regret. Bam. We made it to the West. All right, everybody. Well, we've done the tutorial, and we beat the first area, and we're now in the West where, oh my God, they have guns. Uh, this is going to require a little bit more skill on our part. And I'd love to know what you think of this game so far. Have you heard of this game or have you played any cultivation games? Any deck builders like this? I'm going to be putting a link to the game's Steam page in the description below if you want to check out more. And when this video releases, for the first week of its release, uh, I'm going to start a raffle. And in that raffle, all YouTube channel members, all Patreon patrons will be entered, as well as I will, and four keys will be distributed to those, that group. And then I will have one key that I will distribute and randomly select one person who comments in the comments below to win a copy of the game. So if you want to support the channel um, or you want to just leave a comment, to get into the raffle. I thank you so much for considering both, and I thank you all for watching. Everyone, take care.